This is a test video um, for the Pyre Vocoder. Uh, Scott kind of showed me how to do this, so I thought I'd make a movie of it. Um, for a long time I couldn't tell if the vocoder was working properly or not, but this is a pretty good test. Um, this vocoder works like all the others. There are eight bands. Uh, it does frequency analysis uh, and then uses that information to drive a VCA on the uh, carrier signal, so effectively turning the carrier signal into a pseudo representation of the modulator. And I think I've got carrier and modulator the right way around, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, a uh, bit of a mess, as you can see. Lots of wires everywhere. Uh, what I have is a signal generator, which in this case is the Pyre um, 9700 synth, which I built a little sweep control for it. Very simple thing. I got a 9 volt battery and a 10 turn 20k pot, which is wired in to the pitch CV uh, of one of the oscillators, which is, uh, and we're going to use the sine wave out. Very important that you use a low harmonic content waveform, so triangle wave, sine wave, something like that. Uh, I'll just turn off the fan so we can hear what's going on. I've actually jumpered the, uh, I've actually got the sine wave going into the instrument one and I've jumpered it using the yellow um, jump cable to put the input into the microphone input two and the gain is set quite low. Uh, the red jumper is to the frequency counter here which is reporting the frequency and I've also got the scope hooked up to the output so I can see where the eight resonant bands are. And the scope is connected to the output using the white jumper. Also I've got the output going to an amp so we can hear it. And then all the respective grounds connected so that we can get uh, an output waveform on the scope and frequency analysis. So let's go. Um, I'm going to start sweeping the signal now. And I'm just going to turn this pot and you'll see on the scope as we go up. Got a resonant band at about 320 hertz. Uh, that's the first band, and that fades away. Then we've got the next one. Signal comes back again at about 490 hertz. That's two, and then three. Four, almost one kilohertz, five, signal's getting stronger now, fading away, six, seven, and one more, eight, there, not quite so strong at about five and a half K, and then beyond that, nothing. So going down again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. that's how you test it. Uh, if you get eight resonant points uh, from about 100 hertz up to 5k, then all the bands are working.